Today we've got a very sick little puppy called Jack and um, Jack's suffering from parvovirus. Parvovirus is one of the nasty viruses that um, is quite a big killer of young dogs, especially unvaccinated dogs. It is what is in puppy vaccines and vaccinations done correctly at the right time are very, very important in order to protect them from the disease. The disease is fatal if it's not treated or if it's very severe and um, the treatment is intensive care treatment with regular feeding and all sorts of other things that I'll tell you about now. But basically, if a puppy is not vaccinated or the mother didn't have maternal protection in her milk, they're very susceptible to this disease. And particularly here in Dubai, we see a lot of it. So if you have a little look at Jack, he's looking very sad and sorry for himself. He's sleeping at the moment. Um, he's a very, very young puppy. He's only a month old, so he's just over four weeks of age. Generally, puppies should be weaned from their mom no earlier than six weeks, but they generally stay with the mom even up until 10 to 12 weeks. We start vaccinations from six to eight weeks of age, and depending on when they started, we boost that two to four weeks later and then two to four weeks after that. So if a puppy has not had maternal protection from the mom, and hasn't been vaccinated properly, they are at risk to contracting this disease. So what this disease is, is basically a, a disease, it's a virus, that attacks all rapidly dividing cells in the body. So it attacks uh, immu the immune system and the bone marrow. So he basically can't fight any infection and his gut is particularly affected. So they present with vomiting and diarrhea and they vomit and vomit and have diarrhea until they really dehydrate themselves and can actually die if they're not supplemented and treated. So Jack has a feeding tube in his nose, he's getting intravenous fluids, he's getting potassium supplementation, he's getting antibiotics, we're checking his protein levels, his electrolytes daily, monitoring his temperature and we're feeding him and trying to get him through it. There's no cure, there's just supportive care and if we can support him and keep his blood sugar up and keep his blood pressure up and keep him um, avoiding secondary infection, then he has a chance of surviving. The smaller they are and the younger they are, the more difficult it is and the prognosis is, gets worse, sort of more, the more small and more sick that they are. Um, we're quite hopeful about Jack. I know he looks pretty awful at the moment, but he is also having a sleep, so he's not you know, lying there dying, he's just having a rest. He can get up, he can move around, he's getting tube fed, and um, he's been with us, this is the fourth day, and he's hanging in there, and we're hopeful that he's gonna make a full recovery. But we just wanted to show you this video to make sure that you shouldn't get a puppy that's too young, one that hasn't been vaccinated or has had, or has suspicion about not being vaccinated properly. Because if they pick it up from the environment, it's a very serious disease, and it's, it's not easy and not cheap to treat.